What up, family? Get a news reporter, Mayor Dash Twin, and Mayor in the Lee. Today is Sinful Sunday in my city, Chicago. 2022, July 24th, and it's 10-24, according to Sony. All right, this video is going out to so-called writer of uh, Roots, Alex Haley. Now, follow me, y'all. If you know my truths by now, you know that my name is Mary Lee Davis, a.k.a. Mary Mack, ghetto news reporter, an originator of rap music since the age of eight in 1975. At the age of six, I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper in 1973. We also know all skin folk and kin folks, but because of crack cocaine, because of uh, integration, because of, you know, slavery, if that's what you want to call it, with the people that infiltrated my country, America, city, Chicago, you understand what I'm saying, and helped a lot of... Um, white people to intrude on me and my people, the foundational Native Americans and people that was already established here in America. You know, now we all have um, what I would like to say uh, played a part and made some kind of contribution. You understand? But when God put somebody like myself in your life and I have worked harder than 10 men and my influence have influenced a lot of people to do the same to the point we didn't even realize we was working like Hebrew slaves not having to due to the fact that uh you know we are aboriginals to the land you understand what I'm saying real talk now what they trying to do in my America you know what I'm saying, is uh, buy up all the land and then have me living on the land paying them. Like Martin Luther King said that he felt as if he was leading his people into a burning house. And not only that, that, um, you know, we was living in exile on our own land, meaning, you know, like people don't even see us. You know how somebody come over your house and they don't want to leave because your house is better than theirs or whatever and stuff. And then you'd be like, well, I'm going to help you get on your feet. And then you can get the fuck out of my goddamn house. And then they want your house and they house. And they want to make you a slave and stuff because they didn't learn your ways or whatever the case. Now, let's just keep it real simple without all the babbling, okay? Um, I didn't know the difference between the, egg, between the uh, apple and the orange at the age of six, okay? In 1973, I was a child abuse victim fighting for my life ever since a baby. You understand? Real talk. And somehow or another, my brain clicked and I became the originator of rap music by listening to music, changing the words, you know, to songs and incorporating my own story like I'm good at doing. I came out with a book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors Plus One Song. Everybody should have it, but I don't have it because they're trying to discredit me because they want to keep the lie of the Alex Haley and his roots going on. And that's why Alex Haley wrote his so-called, you know, roots blueprint in 1976, after 1975, because they must have caught wind of me. You understand what I'm saying? Just like the color purple, I gave my story to Oprah at the age of 17 and 19. 84 and then the color purple came out in 1985 so roots he wrote the blueprint after he heard about me in 1975 came, wrote his blueprint in 1976 and then came out with the um the movie in 1977 the original now i got this quarter yesterday and it say 1977 on it which means nothing happens in this world by mistake but if you tell a, a lie long enough, it will become the truth. And if the person that, you know, they shitting on, which is me, don't, you know, stand up 
for myself and it just keep going and going and going. So you wonder why trouble always follows me because people don't want the truth to get out. But the truth will set you free and make you free. And without the truth, how are they able to maintain what they have? They have to keep going back to the source. And that's why, which is me. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, my higher power because they need to fill in the blanks. So they're trying to get rid of me because they think uh, they don't need me no more. But if I die, we all die because we all family now because the mind is woke. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they say. Everybody woke now, but you can you can play dumb, act like it didn't happen because uh, Martin Luther King also said truth that crushed the earth will rise again. But this time, my higher power going to fight my battles, you know, more so than what I'm doing with you. So basically, Alice Haley allegedly posted had died February the 10th. I got my ass whooped on the west side living in a shelter, something I wasn't supposed to be doing because I got Railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so-called dishonoring police officers, something I did not do because they wanted to keep the lie going and bring in the new world order and, all you know, distract people and stuff. And a lot of people know what time it is, where I'm at right now, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, North 60637. They living better than me, was dying, though, when I first got here, just like I was, because they tried to make, they wanted me to die. You understand what I'm saying? But they really didn't. But they knew I, I'm a fighter. They knew I'm a fighter. And I would, you know, tell this truth and woo out the bam. So they kind of knew my moves or whatever and stuff. And it's been healing them. And they've been coming up. But I haven't gotten all my stimulus checks from the government. They're trying to take my little social security. I'm the original rap music. Never had a day at the spa. Never had a real vacation. Never had a new car. You know, never had no real family and friends. Always gold diggers and opportunistic people. You understand what I'm saying? Trying to come up. So that's what I'm dealing with now. Even in this trap, dealing with bed bugs, roaches, and probably mice come winter time and stuff. Real tough. A lot of rats up in this motherfucker and shit. But you think I'm the one snitching. No, they told me this was a government-funded program, which I believe was my um, uh, family business. But because, you know, of intruders, you understand? I always love my mama. The intruders came up with the song, I Always Love My Mama, Real Talk. You understand what I'm saying? They thought I wouldn't be able to figure out or well, I was too incompetent to be able to run the business. And I've been running it for the last five years because these niggas is still listening and ain't trying to kill me for the most part. They have attempted to do bodily harm to me when I first got here. But more so now, they are believers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. They like, you know, because you can only fool yourself so long before, you know, you know, you have to even come to the conclusion that, you know, hey, maybe something to this and stuff. So, you know, they, they impose their threats and looks, and but they're a little more common than they was when I first got here. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Now, this was in the office where I'm at, you know, and it's an elephant. Everybody always talking about that elephant in the room. You understand what I'm saying? Real talking. It looked like it may have, you know, come from Africa or whatever the case may be. Now, I got it from my case manager. My signature is on the bottom. Now, if my mama came over here or her family was from Africa or whoever, you understand what I'm saying? You know, they bring their stuff over here, you know, whatever the case may be. Or, you know, I don't know. Maybe somebody went and visited. You understand what I'm saying? I have another one right here. And as you can see, it's got a purple in it and some blue. You know, you put a little candle on top and stuff. Real so. So, you know, just like the zoo animals you know at lincoln park zoo and i like the song by r kelly zoo ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. he snapped on that one so why would they get rid of r kelly why because he's worth the most he's the king of rb i'm the queen of um rap and um everybody could be a king and queen doing whatever you working a job nigga you the queen of your position you understand what i'm saying stop going after my shit and build your own shit and appreciate your shit and that way you know your family will be proud of you so you know they piggybacked off of me and that's why they beat me down as a little baby and a girl and stuff and i was incompetent and you know slow stupid and retarded by the time i got with the rep miss my foster family at 1335 east 75th street in my city chicago and where you know i became the originator of rap at also you know because you know they needed time 
to get the lie going and they knew it would take time for my brain to heal and all that. You understand what I'm saying? And they've been trying to kill me ever since. I done been through so much. Y'all should know it by now. I'm tired of hearing it like I'm tired of telling you and stuff. So you know how I do. This going out for Alex Haley and his family because they say even when you die, you know, you still going to be a problem and stuff. Real talk. Even when I die, I'm going to still be a problem. But if you think I'm going to die, 1034, 34 plus 10, uh, I just turned to 35, but 34 plus 10 is 44 without Barack Obama giving me a pardon like he should have did with his silly ass. I went to prison just so y'all can have fun and, you know, I could prove in the end that um, Barack Obama really wasn't y'all friend. Everything they gave, y'all, they taking it away. John Henry Clark said, y'all going back into slavery. I ain't never been a slave. I've been free all my life up until the point I went to prison on my own just to be able to, you know, come from behind and let you know. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't have to go to prison. They was going to let me go three days later in 2008. But I was like, no, I'm going to do it my way this time. Real fucking talking. I'm glad I, that was the best decision I ever made because sometimes you got to face your fears and your enemies at the same time. And um, get your respect the way you're supposed to get it. Even if they don't, my higher power gave it to me. So, you understand what I'm saying? It's up to them now how they want to go out. You understand? So, even if a person kill me and you go to prison trying to say, yeah, I killed that Mary girl or whatever, they would kill you. For real. Real talk. I didn't go because I was stupid. I went to let the motherfuckers know that y'all know this is not how I get down. So, when the shit hit the fan... Put that work in because I'm trying to get the ones in prison out. You know what I'm saying? There's still people in there for selling weed and they done made weed legal. They now saying that, you know, police can smoke weed and no questions asked. I don't need people coming after me drinking drugs and smoking and doing the most. And I work my ass off not to do the most and stuff for real. You supposed to do your job and, you know, make me feel comfortable and safe. When I go out, when I go out, I always feel like somebody's watching me, trolling me and trying, you know, to start shit with me. You understand? That's how I feel. And I believe the police is always behind it because I'll be proving it. I'll be. I, you, you seen the video I put in the description of this one. I won. Y'all lost. So when I wear this here badge, it's for the ones who got killed in the line of duty because... They smoked out, cracked out, whatever uh, partner. You threw them under the bus and stuff. Real talk. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? And it's not really a badge. It's kind of like a necklace thing or whatever. But yeah, I'm not the police. I really don't like the police, especially the ones who don't do their job. That movie, The Negotiator, was made in Chicago, where I'm from, about the Social Security. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't even want to get Harry Tubman. Her social security. She had, you know, she did all that work. So she freed y'all, allegedly, you know, Africans, you know what I'm saying? Mexicans, everybody else. I like to say I did that part, you know, where she left off at, I picked up at. But I'm here to free you mentally. So now that everybody's conscious, woke, or whatever we call it, you know what I'm saying? Wake up, everybody, no more sleeping in bed. All right, here we go. Everybody know that this is the uh, six ball because I cannot find it to this day. You know, magically delicious people are in action. So Alex Haley, that ass whooping, and did I go to jail that day? Hell no. I'm. I got a. I had a black eye on the west side on Whole Man and Roosevelt at the road Walgreens. All right, this is the 15, five and one is six. I'm the manifestation of the Martin Luther King dream, nightmare, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, it's maroon like me. You understand what I'm saying? We got red-blooded Americans, and then we got the maroons and stuff. You understand? The Moors, that's what you want to call it. All skin folk ain't kin folk, but because of blood transfusions, nigga, I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and rest came for people like you. This is on page six. 40, Isaiah chapter 26, 27, 28, and 641. You understand what I'm saying? I got railroad May 31st, 2008 at the age of 41. Step your game up. Peace.